Hey everyone, Dr. Dax here, author of Attack of the Killer Bees and the administrator of the page, facebook.com slash killerbeemovies. I uh, hope that everybody is doing well, that you are all healthy and safe during these crazy times. I just wanted to drop in today because I'm super excited. Uh, my book came in and I wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing and uh, explain what the book is about and tell you how you can get your uh, hands on it. So basically, let me tell you how I came about it first. I've been listening to a podcast for years called be a movie cast. You can look it up on Stitcher or uh, whatever you get your podcasts from. They're a great uh, group. They uh, talk about B movies and they have a lot of uh, guests come on sometimes. And their reviews are funny. They're they're a very uh, entertaining crowd and they're not dirty. You won't hear a lot of foul language or anything like that. So check them out. I'll provide the link at the end. It's also going to be in the description. So. Um, with that said, they have a, a weekly contest where you write in and identify a movie on their uh, internet page and they'll show a still of a, some obscure film and if you know the year that was made and the title of the film, they put your name in a hat and they draw it during their show and I actually won something <laughs> that hardly ever happens. So the prize was a copy of Nick's book. Uh, the host, Nick Brown, is... Uh, an author and uh, film producer, podcaster, and he's got like nine different hats. He's even busier than I am. And he and his wife wrote a cookbook. Let me show this to you. This is really cool. Um, it's called the B-Movie Cookbook. Check that out. See the colors and uh, the artwork is really pretty. Really cool stuff. Um, and what they did is they wrote a 50s era B-movies book. I think that, yeah, they included a little note card. This is the 50s B-movie cookbook. And I hope you can get a good shot of that. A really neat little trading card that was tucked inside. And uh, my book was signed by the authors, Nick and Fiona Brown. And if you're wondering what in the holy heck that is, the B-Movie Cookbook is a cookbook inspired by different B-Movies. Every film that they talk about in here inspired a recipe. Now, I'm not going to give all the details away, but I'll show you some of the artwork, uh, the photographs, and uh, the posters they show. Really beautiful work and some fantastic uh, ideas and recipes inspired by each of the movies. So, it's really interesting. Uh, I won't give it all away, but they do cover some of my favorites. Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, The Brain That Wouldn't Die, other classics, if you will. And they offer up not only the recipes, but they discuss the movies a little bit and give you some useless trivia, which is right up my alley. I love this kind of stuff. And uh, the edition that I got, yours, if you get one, it won't look exactly like it because it's a, uh, an approval copy. Now, if you've ever written a book, you know that you create the formatting and the text and all that stuff and you send it in and when the printer sends it back to you uh, you can have the final say into what formatting colors and so forth need to be changed and so there's only three or four copies of the one that I've got like in the world and I got my hands on that so um, the actual print copy might be slightly different in the formatting and stuff and uh, Nick Brown just did a fantastic job with it although uh, having looked at some of the, the writing and stuff, I have a strong feeling that Fiona was behind most of it. She's probably the real brains because there's a lot of uh, British-isms and phrasing that sounds very English and his, his wife is English. So, But it's okay. They, they're both uh, really cool people and uh, it's a great book. So I'm, I'm really excited to get into that and, and to finish it. So go on and check out his site, authornickbrown.com. I'll provide the link. You guys can follow that. Check it out. He's also the author of several books, uh, fiction books, uh, Werewolf for Hire series, and things like that. And it's uh, exactly what it sounds like. It's fantastic. So, yeah, check out his website. Also go to uh, bmoviecast.com. Download some of their episodes. Check it out. You won't be sorry. Anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to share the awesome book with you. And... Uh, I hope that you guys poke around his site, take a look at it, and uh, quick disclaimer, uh, they didn't pay me to do this, it's just uh, something I wanted to do, uh, they even cover a little bit of Manos, Dance of Fate, one of my favorite, uh, so good, so bad it's good movies, and 
to see what kind of food it inspired, you'll have to buy the book and check it out. This is the 60s era book. He's got a 50s version out. I think they're going to do one for every decade. So um, I'm really excited because my wife has already told me that I can uh, buy a, a copy for the shelf and keep this one pristine because it's the collector's edition, so to speak. So I might accidentally order a copy of Werewolf for Hire while I'm at it. Just accidentally slide that into the uh, cart. And uh, that's about it right now, guys. I hope that uh, you will take a look at that, enjoy it, and I hope that everybody out there uh, continues to be safe and um, stay healthy. And I hope that uh, we talk again soon. You guys uh, give me a like and give me a subscribe if you would like to. And uh, tell your friends about our page, facebook.com slash killerbeemovies. All right? Thanks. Out.